Hello there, welcome back to Carbon College, a Q&A session from Anistic. If you've got any questions to do with carbon reduction, carbon management, or compliance with all the different carbon legislations out there, let us know. Um, and we have a question today from Farah. So this one was emailed through to us. Okay. Uh, and the question is, what should the carbon reduction plan include? Okay, <laughs> okay, carbon reduction plan. Carbon reduction plan is a wide term, okay? There's no specific definition of it. Most people would use it as a uh, reference to the plan that pops out of PPN 0621, which is a UK government standard, PPN 0621, okay? The standard calls for several components to be put together into a document and published annually, so it's an annual requirement. In the document, you have to have an analysis of your scope one emissions. That normally means gas and fuel, okay? Scope two emissions, that's electricity. And then five scope threes, okay? You've got upstream deliveries. So you need to quantify the carbon content of the deliveries made to you. Downstream deliveries, i.e. the carbon content of the deliveries you make out to clients. Business travel, air, train, bus, etc., etc. Commuting. Okay, we normally include work from home in there as well, but not strictly required, but commuting um, and waste, okay, where you're looking for what waste was generated, where it went to, etc. So you need to analyze those five scope threes, scope one and scope two. You then need to define a base year. So you say, for example, we're going to look at our reduction compared to well, a lot of people are choosing 2020. Uh, a lot of people are choosing 2019. It really does depend on how COVID affected your business. So if you weren't hit by COVID, go for 2020. If you were hit by COVID, go for 2019, okay? Then you track your progress. You must include a progress against your target and you must set a target. So for example, if you set, we're going to reduce our carbon by, for example, 5% year on year is a common one. Or we're going to reduce our carbon, for example, by 45% by 2030. Again, it's pretty common, that kind of thing. The numbers are in your control. All you have to do is report on them. Okay, so a little, little graph with tracking your progress. The last part in there is a list of the carbon projects you're doing to reduce your carbon. Um, they like you to put some targets in there about uh, what you've actually achieved through those projects or what you intend to achieve, but nobody does. They're just words in there. So all in all, the whole thing is, most of them I see are about eight or nine pages. Um, they're, they're really quite straightforward top level stuff, you know, they're not too detailed. Um, the analysis behind it normally goes on in a software package. We use Plato, as you know, and it just, it, to be absolutely frank, it just kind of generates most of the report for you. Um, and that will then be submitted annually, or not submitted, but produced annually. And that is your carbon reduction plan. It meets the requirements of PPN 0621. Um, and that's what you mean by carbon reduction plan. How's that? Um, I'm just wondering what happens if a business doesn't fulfill their carbon reduction plan? Is there consequences or...? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's another good question. <laughs> good, good questions. Um, look, there's no requirement for you to do anything, okay? PPN 0621 says you must do the things I've said. You must analyse your footprint, set a target to reduce it, and write down what your carbon reduction projects are, but there's no sort of checking that you're going to do them. And if you wanted to be cynical about it, you could actually just use boilerplate text for those carbon reduction projects. For example, we're going to do more video conferencing rather than traveling to client sites. It's a very common one. So it's a bit of a hole in the system, really. I, I think I'd like to see something encouraging companies to actually go to the next stage and actually start doing the reduction itself. But it's not there, it's not a requirement, and no, you don't need to do anything. How does that sound? Sounds good. I hope that was useful. Uh, if you've got any other questions, ping them through. If we can, we'll get around to answering them and uh, publishing them out on, on YouTube. Um, until next time, goodbye.